You've heard of lawyers and you've heard of psychics, but what about a psychic lawyer? Mark Anthony is a psychic lawyer and a best-selling author considered for a Pulitzer Prize. He's here for an event tomorrow night at Unity of Dallas Church, but he's joining us this morning, first of all. So nice to see you. Thank you, Jane. It's great to be here. Okay, I've got to tell you that like a lot of people of faith, um, I have always had a certain skepticism about psychics. You and I were talking earlier, and um, so I'd like for you to explain how you cross the, cross the, cross the path between that, that psychic is not the antithesis of faith. Not How about at that all. for a question? <laughs> well, not at all, because these gifts are only possible through the grace of God. And if you look at through the Bible, Joseph foretelling the dreams of Pharaoh, interpreting mm -hmm. future events, that's a psychic ability. The prophetess Deborah using her abilities to help the general Barak overcome the Canaanites. Uh, Jesus exhibits every form of psychic uh, activity. I mean, certainly <laughs> coming back uh, from the dead and, and the healing energies. So in the Bible, where we're looked at as positive, they refer to us as prophets and prophetesses. Right. And where we're looked at in a negative light, they refer to as mediums or witches. And actually, this is sort of a thing these days. I'm seeing more and more about psychic uh, and spiritual energies actually being part of faith. Uh, most certainly, they always have been. If you look at um, the popular Catholic saints throughout history, they all exhibited psychic and mediumistic abilities. St. Francis had stigmata. He was channeling a high form of energy, mm -hmm. developing the wounds of Christ. Um, St. Claire of Assisi, one of his associates, did you know she's the patron saint of television? <laughs> no, I yeah, didn't. In, in, I need in, one. In, in 1958, <laughs> Pope Pius XII declared her, 800 years after her death, the patron saint of television. And the reason for that is she was able to see events in real time across town and across uh, Italy. And what happened is she was a very pious uh, nun, known for her great works of charity and healing, and she got so sick she couldn't go to church. So she would pray to God, may I see what's happening in church. She is what we now know as a remote viewer and a remote viewing is a highly advanced psychic ability where you're able to take your consciousness and project it across the room or anywhere across the world. In fact, uh, intelligence services starting with the British in the 1930s right. developed psychic warfare divisions. The United States, Russia, China, Britain, France, uh, North Korea, Japan, Australia, and South Africa all have psychics and their intelligence agencies. Okay, so I want to get to what you do because you're a psychic lawyer. How do you use, how, how does, how, do you combine those two for clients? And if so, give me an example. Uh, it's part of my skill set without a doubt. Um, it, it, gives, it doesn't make me all knowing and all seeing. I'm a medium, I'm not the Messiah, okay? And I, I like that to, to be very clear. Messiah, I'm, I'm a medium and not the Messiah. I'm a medium and not the Messiah, but everybody has a skill set. And what psychic ability does, and I'm, and used a lot in cold cases. In fact, uh, information I provided a year ago on, on the show, The Doctors, was just used to help um, lead to the arrest of uh, the murderer in a cold case. And so while psychic intuition cannot be used in a court of law, what it does is it gives the police leads that direct them to admissible evidence. So basically we're used behind the scenes to help focus the efforts of the police. And what I do is it certainly helps me in jury selection, letting um, we know how people feel about my right. client and whether or not they're predisposed to a case or not. Okay, so we hear a lot these days, particularly now that physics has shown that we yes. are really just patterns of energy. We are not really things sitting here. Um, how do, when you talk about seeing spirits and things yes. like that, what do you see? Think of the Eiffel Tower. Do you see okay. it in your mind's eye? Uh. That's how I see spirits. That is, in other words, a spirit is pure energy and they vibrate waves of frequency to me. Their electromagnetic energy interfaces with the electrical field of my brain, and which converts that information into recognizable concepts based on my memories, feelings, and cultural associations. So I'll see hmm. them in my mind's eye, hear them in my mind's ear, feel sensations, and receive information I have no possible way of knowing. 
and it's all because on a subatomic level, like you just brought up. Right, everything, which we're just beginning to understand. We're beginning to understand. Einstein, Max Planck, Werner Heisenberg mm -hmm. talked about it 100 years ago. Now we know on a subatomic level, everything is quanta, ergo quantum physics, and everything is electromagnetic energy. What I'm doing is because the way my brain is structured, I'm able to tune into the higher frequencies of the spiritual realm, and they transmit the information to me, and I use it to help people heal from the death of a loved one because what it does, Jane, is these abilities help me to, to let people know God exists, heaven exists, our soul as Jesus taught us is an immortal living being and we will see our loved ones when it is our appointed time to transition into the light that is God. And I want to ask you, what, you said you wanted to answer this question, what is remote viewing? Well, just what St. Uh, Teresa, um, um, of, excuse me, St. Clair of, of Sisi, St. Teresa of Avila, right. that's another psychic. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, she spoke about the seven mansions within which correspond with the seven energy centers, which we know as the chakra. But getting back to the remote viewing, it is an incredibly um, useful skill in intelligence gathering and, and used. And it's interesting because when skeptics say, oh, well, we don't believe in psychic capabilities, then how come communist Chinese, uh, Russians, uh, Americans, British, French, and all these other agencies have been spending tens of millions of dollars for decades on this? So this is, and I've, and I've met people in special forces that had these abilities. Okay, I think what you're talking about is fascinating. I'm super interested in it. If you're interested in it, Mark Anthony speaks tomorrow night at Unity of Dallas Church. 972-233-7106 is the phone number or go to unitydallas.org for tickets. You can also go to evidenceofeternity.com for more information on Mark.